Alright guys, welcome to a new video. I haven't done a video like this before, but I'm going to be covering the community crunch for today as I've noticed something that some people might not have noticed. And I think that it's pretty insane if it's true and if I've got it right. I'm pretty sure I have got it right based off uh, one of the dossiers. So basically, there's nothing in the community crunch about 1.5. They're just showing off the new dinos. So make sure you stick around for the news. It is actually insane. But let's start off with the first dinosaur. Uh, the new dino is called the Faso Alasaurus. I'm not very good at pronouncing things, so I probably butchered that one. But it says the Flatulosaurus is a dangerous I bro, I can't read Den denizen of scorched earth. Their ambushes and sand whirlpool attacks make them a formidable threat. Taming these creatures is a challenging task due to their resistance to nar narcotics, but those who succeed gain a powerful companion for traversing the scorched sands. So if we go to the dossier of this dinosaur, which is this one, um, the one thing that I noticed, which is right here, it says one of these monster sand swimmers would make a great mount, but good luck slowing down something that can shrug off most narcotics. But it says here you could try softening one up with explosives, grabbing a spike and steering it into a rock, but you'd have to be a bit mental to try. Therefore, this is pointing that you tame this dinosaur with some kind of explosive, kind of like the phoenix how you tame it with uh, a flamethrower or some kind of fire also one other thing over here it says if you can help it i recommend staying clear of those spikes i think they got acid glands at the base of their spiny fins and in their mouths as well their caustic bite seems to melt through the thickest hide so I think right there it's pointing at towards some kind of saddle penetration where it ignores armor damage and as you can see right here it's got some kind of whirlpool going around the Rex and a Kentro and it looks like it's slowing them down or giving them some kind of debuff. So this team might be really useful for getting rid of soakers in a defense and it looks really really strong. Also, it says that the tails are strong enough to whip up sand to blind predators and prey alike. So again, another debuff that this dino can do, basically blinding a tame, a bit like a UT when you get feared and it makes your screen go black and you run around. I guess it's going to be something like that. But now we're going to move on to the Gigantoraptor. And the one thing I noticed about this tame is on this sentence right here. Once mature to adulthood, your tame Gigantoraptor will happily look after any of your tribe's young creatures, nurturing them and teaching them. This to me indicates something like a Maywing would do, as you can't tame Maywings because there's no Lost Island or Gen 2. So I guess this is going to be the replacement of a Maywing for now. And by the look of these photos, it looks really, really big. And it also looks like it doesn't need a saddle going off this icon here. And from this sentence here where it says Gigantoraptor forms an inseparable bond with its young charges. Does that say charges? I, th I don't know what that says. But it says bring them into a fight together and they will defend each other and your tribe far more efficiently than when apart. So again, another dino that gives some sort of buff. My guess is basically going to provide some sort of a imprint buff. So you, obviously you have 100% imprint. I guess if you do it with this dino, you maybe gain more. That's just my opinion though. Um, I could be wrong. And then I guess to be able to tame one of these things would be a bit like a Deinonychus based off the fact where it says, now for the bad news, to my knowledge, no one's been able to figure out how to tame an adult Gigantoraptor. Its unique disposition seems resistant to behavioral conditioning. However, survivors bolder than me were able to sneak into nests to win the trust of their young, and they claim that reward is well worth the risk. So from reading that, I guess you just sneak into the nest and there may be a wild baby that you'd have to claim and somehow get away. But this seems like a really good team, and I like that they're bringing out a lot more unique stuff with the dinos that they're bringing out. But now for the huge, huge thing that I noticed with this tame is from this sentence right here. It can even use its call to help you find orphaned baby animals out in the wild. If you bring those orphans home, then your Gigantoraptor will happily add them to its brood. From reading that sentence, to me, that's indicating that there's going to be wild dinos roaming the Ark. So that would mean all the wild dinos on Ark would be possible and you could see wild baby dinosaurs. So you could probably come across like a wild baby Giga or a wild baby Rex. 
and you'd use this team to call it and basically add it to your pack. A bit like a claim when you claim a baby with a Maywing, but only with this team, it would be a wild instead of a enemy tribes baby. So if that's true, that is actually going to be a game changer. It's going around the arc and you're seeing wild babies. So on this one, I really do hope that's true. So on to the next one, we have the game changing underwater team. This underwater team, by the looks of it and the things that have been said, is basically an underwater base on a dinosaur. As you can see here, it's absolutely massive compared to the ichthys over here and it can shoot torpedoes by the looks of it from the saddle. And from this dossier it says, Taming Ashasasaurus was one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. I brought along some ichthyosaurs pack to entertain their larger cousin, while I scraped some of its ichthy barnacles off with a sickle. From then on, I had a gigantic escort in deep water. So from reading that, it looks like you have the ichthys as friends. They probably follow you around or something like that. As there is a lot of indication of ichthys following this team around. And it says right here as well, it says some tribes managed to kit out their finny friend with a periscope torpedo bays and even a cargo hold. Those Shastasauruses end up looking like something from the old kids cartoon with cavemen who turned dinos into cars and submarines. So who knows, maybe you can fit dinos in this team. I really can't wait for this one to come up because the underwater on Ark is really, really lacking and there's not much to do down there. But it doesn't look that good in the PvP department where it says here, luckily its bulk turns out to be worse than its bite, which is indicating that its bite damage might not do a lot of damage, but hopefully the saddle does a bit of damage. But by the looks of things, this is gonna be a really, really large creature. So moving on to the last one, the last one is named Yeeling or Wiling. I, I don't know, I butcher names really badly. And again, this looks a bit like another Dynamicus remake. Right here, it has a climbing pick symbol, which probably indicates that it can climb walls uh, with a target symbol too, which indicates again that it could probably latch onto dinos or enemy players. And again, it looks like it confirms that here where it says its aberrant size yeeling is still somehow light enough to cling to walls and it can even glide short distances just like the Dinonychus can. And it even kind of looks like the Dinonychus. It looks like it's the same jump attack too. And by the looks of things, it is an aberrant dinosaur. So it comes from aberration. From this sentence here, I've seen ye scarf up the weird mushrooms congealed gas balls and nameless creatures scurrying around down here who knows what effect a dialad that would have on its feathery weaponry watch what your ye eats and you just might learn to sharpen its fighting skills to me that's indicating if you feed it congealed gas balls or kill nameless creatures it may give this dino a bit of a buff that's my opinion and that's what i think is going to be the case with this dinosaur and from the look of these feathers and this sentence here, it says, I'm glad Yi seems to prefer prey smaller than itself because it can eject a spray of barbed feathers before darting in to rip them from an unhappy target. This unique attack may expose Yi in the short term, but its protective plumage regroups fast. So I'm guessing you shoot the feathers and it's basically going to make this dinosaur take more damage. But as it takes more damage in return, it maybe gives more damage to this creature. That's just my take on things. But yeah, that's going to be it for this community crunch. I know I'm not the best at doing these type of videos, but if you guys want to see more, then let me know down in the comments. Also, let me know what you guys think of these dinosaurs and, and let me know if you think I am right about the whole Gigantoraptor case and the wild dinos, because that's what I really think based off this sentence right here. But it would be cool as the wild dino, the wild baby dino thing is actually a mod already. So my guess is that they're implementing it into 1.5. But if that is true, then it is some really, really huge news for Arc 1.5. So don't forget to tell your friends. And with that being said, boys, I'll catch you in the next one.